we're Brighton, Hove and Albion. Pride of South Australia, the mighty Adelaide Crows. We're Brighton Hove Albion, North London is ours. Okay, hands up, who's a happy chappy? Too right. Too right indeed. May have to juggle these around a bit. Let's see what we can do here. Now you can see the big crow there. Lovely. Brighton Hove Albion. One of the great Saturdays of my life. Oh. Thought the cat was going to pull down a town. He likes doing that sometimes. Well, today's shave is being brought to you by Murphy and McNeil. And I just can't pronounce this Gaelic stuff. Marturid. Mathturid. I don't know. But it's a nice pattern. But it's also a nice soap. Nice scent. And it comes with the matching aftershave balm. And I thought, now yeah, what am I, I was just going to shave with the slim, but I uh, thought, no. So red ring. So this is the second red ring I've bought. I've actually bought three, there's still one on the way. I know, I know, tragic. A tragic collector. So I thought I'd get this one because the other one I've got has the red ring around it's really nice condition I don't want to I want to keep that as pristine as possible so I thought I'd buy another one so this is it with the magnum in the magnum magnet in the bottom of it which is very handy stuff and the third one I've got that's coming on its way has got the little uh, art deco design on the cap but today we're going with this one. So it's um, a two-piece razor. And we're going to roll with... That's the wrong one. This is the right one. With the Persona blade again. It's just pretty cool. Got the two little pins on top. So the blade can just sit on there. Makes it a bit easier to put in and then take off at the end of the shave. So it just does up. Beautiful razor. You can adjust it down there if it focuses. You can see the notches along there. And just there, if you can see it, there's a just there a an arrow. There you go. So you can you can loosen it off a bit. So you can go from mild to wild. Yeah. So really well made razor. Burnt by World War Two, unfortunately. Okay. Anything else I can tell you for now? No. Let's get into the shave. It's Easter Monday. Let's have a good shave. So I've whipped up a pretty good lather. We don't need all of that, of course. Got the Billy Goat Brushworks Badger Brush.
so it's at least a 26 mil knot, maybe 28. It's quite large. Holds a lot of soap. I think some people get a little bit hung up on knot sizes. You know, I've got smaller knots in um, Badger that do a great job, just as just as fine. Maybe we'll just uh, that's on mile. I'll just wind that back just over a, a notch and a notch and a bit. Just for the first parts. Maybe I could go back some more. Doing this without my glasses on. So I've gone back about two notches. Here comes the cat. Come here, little man. He just wants to get pole position between my feet. So I hope you all had a great Easter. I know Bradley there's got the big barbecue uh, ribeye beer, beer battered or beer uh, marinated ribeye. Would have to be marinated, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think we can all agree that would taste pretty good. Corn on the cob, sweet potato. I used to love corn on the cob. Smother it in butter. Chew off the cobs. Suck in all the melted butter and the juice from the corn. Absolutely magnificent. And then one punch to the face. Stopped all that. Unfortunately, since about the age of 22 or 23, I can't remember exactly how old I was back these days, but maybe, might have even been 24, but no older than that. I haven't been able to bite into an apple anymore or chew corn off the cob. Bastards. Tell you what, I couldn't imagine shaving this with this without having it being any more looser.
Is looser a word, a proper word? Or am I just making these things up? Rightio, let's talk sport. <laughs> Carl, sorry, man. I didn't think we would win. I was, I thought we'd lose. I was just hoping to get a draw and just to pull a point. But I was really surprised by Brighton's uh, performance in that game. It was a simple game plan. It was just to, just to play tight, really. Just um, don't give Harry and Son any room. Just don't give them a chance to break free, especially Son. Like, how fast is that fella? And the plan worked. Like, what a way to win it. Scoring the goal in the 90th minute, the last minute of proper time. Longest five minutes of my life there, injury time at the end of the game. Every time I've got the ball in that five minutes, I go, oh, no, no. But the day started off in the Aussie rules. So my partner won um, <clears throat> two tickets through her work to go see the Adelaide Crows play Richmond. So the tickets are in a good part of the oval. It's um, not like a corporate box or anything, but it's um, probably a level or two down, probably a couple of levels down from that. But big, long uh, bar area, indoor bar area with uh, some restaurants and whatever. So we're in the eastern stand right in the afternoon so we stayed there for the first half of the game and drank we went totally bourgeois at the football and sat there at this um share we shared a table with some strangers so we could watch the game through the big glass windows and um so we shared a bottle of paul roger that's how bourgeois we'd gone
if we'd gone outside in that first half to watch the game, we just would have had the setting sun in our face. It would have been there all, all for the, you know, 60 minutes, the first half, like, doing that, so. I don't know about you people, I don't find that fun. So Crows had a really good win against Richmond, who were, in recent years, the juggernaut club, winning uh, three flags in four years. Just a, an amazing club, period of time for that club. Just um, hard to beat. No. <clears throat> so yeah, the crows were just, um, I think we're the second youngest side in the competition, or the youngest. I thought we were the youngest, but I read somewhere we're the second youngest. But I don't even know who the other team would be that would be younger than us. So we really played well, and and kicked straight for goal. Richmond had a bit of a flourish in the third quarter and got within, um, oh, got quite close. And, uh, but then we were, the boys were able to pull away from him in the last quarter. I think the, we got a very good uh, fitness coach, Burgess. He used to be a fitness coach at, I think it was Arsenal and Liverpool. So he's, Come back around the AFL, done a couple of other, two or three other clubs in the AFL. Now is with the Adelaide Crows, which is a win. So that was late. The game started at 4 p.m. for the Crows. And then the Brighton game, Bright, Brighton and Tottenham game, was started at 9 p.m. in Adelaide. I'm so dyslexic. I was looking at the time all week thinking, oh, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Lucky uh, me and the missus were still in the city and we walked over to the other side of the city. Yeah, Adelaide's not big. And ate over there and we thought, oh, we'll, we'll walk back to the casino and the missus can jump in a cab at the casino. I just have a bit of a walk after having a, a nice meal. And we're halfway to the casino and uh, a friend of mine, Rod, who's a Brighton supporter, he goes, how long are we going to be, Doug? It starts in 10 minutes. I'm like, what the, what? And he goes, you thought it was 11, didn't you? Because I always mess up the times. And I said, yeah, you're right. And he goes, no, it's nine. 
So I missed the first few minutes. Like it would have been a frustrating game to watch as a Tottenham supporter. You know, expecting your team to to have at least scored a goal in the first half, and but it was quite um, suspenseful as a seagull supporter. And once we got to half time without conceding a goal, it, you know. It's, as a fan, the confidence started building and I'm thinking, we might pull a point here. And that's really all I was aiming for. I wasn't expecting a winner. Then we got into the last 10 minutes, the last five minutes, so I'm thinking, I'll take this, a nil all draw. I'll take that. And it, it, it just came down to, I don't know, I haven't played the game to a level where I can actually talk about uh, skills and stuff, but just a slight defensive skill error, <coughs> pardon me, by a Spurs player. And he just knocked the accidentally knocked the ball out of his possession, and Trossard, uh, our striker, was just in the right spot at the right time. Dazzled around a fella, and he he's a very skillful player, Trossard by foot, and he he did what he's paid to do, and he scored. And I'll tell you, people, when he got the ball and he dazzled to his left, I was already out of my chair in front of the big TV screen and then he, he netted it and I went off. I turned around. Rod's gone off. All these other people in the background have gone off. I'm thinking, who are these people? They're not, <laughs> they're not Brighton supporters. It ends up they're Arsenal supporters. The funny thing, is after the game last week, when I was at the casino and then when I was walk, I went for a long walk to um, find a taxi. Because the taxi I jumped into, the dude was trying to scam me. And I thought, no, shove that up, you jumper. You know, I just had random Spurs supporters just pulling me up on the streets and inside the casino, congratulating me as a Brighton supporter that we'd knocked the Gooners out, out of the top four race. Well, pretty much knocked them out and then they fell on their own sword against Southampton. And, uh, and then after the game on Saturday night, I had Gunner supporters coming up, Gunner supporter for all you other people out there, Arsenal supporters coming up to me and congratulating me for evening things up. What a strange game.
But getting back to the top four race in the EPL, I'm confident Spurs will finish fourth. I think um, they've only really... Uh, West Ham are, are thereabouts, but they've got a win. And I think Arsenal can't do it. I don't think they can finish in the top four now after dropping it to Southampton. And I think Man U is the other one that's realistic that can finish fourth. Most other years you'd say they will, I think, this year. They're relying too much on Ronaldo. So if if they, you know, if the other teams that are playing Man U in the next five weeks or so, I think we've got left in the season, uh, six weeks, if they can just stop, you know, shut down supply to Ronaldo... I don't think Man U can do it. So I think Spurs are there. I think four, Spurs will uh, finish fourth and and play in the Champions League next season. No, oh. I'll be back. That was a good show. BBS in the end. The Persona blade, is, it, it's a nice blade. It suits me fine. Well, my skin whiskers fine. It's not one of my favourite blades, but it's not one I can, um, you know, it, it's all positive for it, just not a favourite blade. So I'll give it one more shave. I don't think it's going to go past three shaves, to be honest with you, but, yeah, no, I just I think it's going to do well. <clears throat> but, you know, I, I believe from what uh, I think it was Laurie mentioned, he believes they're still being made today. So if that's the case, well, you know... It, you get three shaves out of a blade today with a modern blade, and that's about standard now. Anyway, at least it's better than uh, back in the bad old days when you just had the old Gillette blue blade that seems like they only lasted a shave or two at best, so... Got to be happy with that. So we'll go with the aftershave balm. Whoops, that's probably too much. Here we go. Definitely too much. Draw off the hands and start again and should all be good. Well, I've had a lot to crow about. And I've done my crowing. Crows probably uh, next couple of games they're winnable for them, and then they come up against a uh, a good side, and then the day dream will be over. Brighton have got um, oh, Manchester City um, probably Wednesday evening in uh, England, but it's four thirty a.m. here in Adelaide, so I'll probably be stupid enough and get up early and watch it. That'll be our return to Earth, our major Tom moment. City should win the title, but you never know. All I know is there'll be a load of Liverpool supporters sitting around with their fingers crossed, hoping Brighton can at least pull a point against City. That's one thing I know, and probably even hoping that we can uh, do the hat trick and after Arsenal and... Uh, Spurs, we can go on and upset City. I hope that as well, but uh, I can't see it happening. City has just uh, got an extra gear that maybe Spurs and definitely Arsenal don't have and, and we don't have. Okay, well, I hope you all had a great uh, Easter. I think I'll go make a coffee and have some chocolate. I haven't had much of it this weekend, so it's Time for me to have a bit. Isn't it funny, Easter? When you're a kid, you can just smash through the Easter eggs. Just smash through them. You can't get enough. Just And now, in my 50s, oh yeah, whatever. Looks nice. But just don't really eat it. 
Anyway, I've, I don't have too much, so I'll just nibble, nibble my way through it for, for the next month or two. Usually when I'm sitting at work, oh, I just need something a bit sweet to just give me a bit, a bit of a pick-up. Okay, um, enjoy what's left of the long weekend, wherever you are on the planet. As I said, I hope you had a really good one. And so I'll be back during the week with an unboxing. I think it's a second part to a British unboxing. So tune in for that because there's uh, a couple of very nice raises coming up in that. And I'll be back next week. Friday, and um, hopefully I'll have a new soap to um, put on display to try out. Okay, people, enjoy what's left for the weekend. We'll all chat soon. Ciao for now.